Tonight, the first images from inside Le Mans. Ukrainian soldiers appearing to pull down signs from months of Russian occupation and restoring the Ukrainian flag after a week of intense fighting. Ukrainian President Vladimir Zelensky boasting there will be more to come. Russia's Ministry of Defense acknowledging its troops withdrew from what had been a critical stronghold in Donetsk. The retreat coming just a day after President Putin illegally annexed the region and three others. Elsewhere, new signs of deadly attacks are now surfacing. The Security Service of Ukraine says Russian soldiers opened fire on a group of families trying to escape the fighting near Kharkiv. NBC News has not been able to independently verify the account, but officials say 24 civilians, including 13 children, were killed. This woman, who escaped, says, we crawled on rail tracks, we were shot at, we couldn't even lift our heads. I saw how my dad was shot. Also tonight, there are growing questions surrounding the disappearance of the director general of the Zaporizhia nuclear power plant. Witnesses say he was pulled from his car in traffic, blindfolded and taken away. According to the International Atomic Energy Agency, Russian officials say he's been temporarily detained for questioning. Tonight, the head of the Chechen Republic, Ramzan Kadyrov, nicknamed Putin's attack dog, is urging the use of strategic nuclear weapons, the most direct call for a nuclear strike from a senior member of Putin's government since the war began. Jose? Jay Gray in Kyiv, thank you. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.